And thank you very much. Um, so my name is Peter Middleton, and I'm one of the two directors of, of Notes on Blindness. Um, it's a project based on the audio diaries of writer and theologian John Hull, who lost his sight in the early 1980s and began keeping a, an audio diary, um, interrogating the, the experience of blindness um, on, his, on his memories, on his family relationships, on his senses, on his very identity. Um, and over the course of three years, John registers a profound sort of neurological rewiring, which leads him to, to conceive blindness as a gift, um, and one which he completely redefines his life. Um, so, play a, a clip, please, Brian. Let's go. <laughs> see as a kind of companion piece to the film, kind of a different entry point to John's experience of blindness. In fact, that's John's wife there, Marilyn, um, trying the, the headset on at, at Sundance um, early on in the year. Um, but throughout the development of the project, we've seen it as a sort of fundamental responsibility, really, to ensure that the film is, is accessible to blind and partially sighted audiences um, as well. And so we've been um, looking at audio description and the way in which blind and partial sighted audiences can access cinema. Um, there was a report published in 2013 that only 54% um, of blind and partially sighted people use audio description, and of those that do, 77% are dissatisfied with what's on offer. So for the last few months, we've been working closely with the RNIB and leading practitioners and researchers in the field of accessibility to try and pioneer and showcase some new approaches to the form. We've got a, we're going to be releasing, sorry, we have released the film with, with a standard audio description track, a track which, uh, an alternative, which has audio description voiced by the actor Steve Mangan, and also um, a version that we're calling Enhanced Sound Design. And this, rather than using a kind of external narrator, as you would do for audio description, actually re-edits the film and re-edits the soundtrack of the film, so you build in more commentary and narration from John and from Marilyn themselves as well as adding sound effect, new sound effects and, 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 um, and effects to help guide the audience through the story just by sound. So, this is how they appear. So the, the film's out on video on demand already. This is how it appears on the BFI player. So you can see here you've got a selection of different, when you, when you purchase the movie, you can select which soundtrack you like to listen to. We've also released on Friday a smartphone app um, in partnership with Movie Reading which effectively puts this technology into your pockets. So no longer are you dependent upon cinemas providing the hardware for audio description. Instead, you can use your phone and it'll sync up with the picture, regardless of whether or not you're in a cinema, or watching on video on demand, or watching on television. And then this is the card that occurs in cinemas are currently playing in front of their, in front of their screens. So, we're here today to, to ask for, for your support to help us take a, uh, to roll out a, a program of, of screenings of the film and showcases of the VR and take it to underserved audiences throughout the country, to charities, to community groups, to libraries, to schools and educational institutions. So £75 will pay for a film screening, £150 will pay for a screening and allow us to demonstrate and showcase some of our, access, some of our accessibility resources. £500 will allow for myself and my co-director James <coughs> to attend 
um, and answer questions directly and to demonstrate some of these materials firsthand. A thousand pounds will get all of the above alongside our virtual reality <laughs> workshop. <laughs> and then if anyone's feeling particularly generous, that will pay for the full tour um, and allow us to put on a series of events throughout the country and showcase John's um, amazing account um, to, to a wider and underserved audience. And we really hope that this can start a conversation about different sight loss experiences, as well as showcasing, of course, these new and creative um, approaches to, to accessibility. Um, 